Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. In today's readings, we are confronted with powerful images of shepherds and sheep images that speak to the deep longing we all have for guidance, protection, and care. In the first reading from the prophet Jeremiah, we hear God denouncing the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. These were the corrupt and unfaithful leaders of Israel who had led the people astray. But God promises that he himself will gather the remnant of his flock and appoint shepherds over them who will care for them. This righteous branch that will reign as king and deal wisely is, of course, a reference to the Messiah, Jesus Christ. The psalmist echoes this imagery of the good shepherd, declaring, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Even in the midst of danger and the valley of the shadow of death, the psalmist trusts in the shepherd's presence and provision. In the second reading, Paul reminds the Ephesians that through Christ, both Jews and Gentiles have been brought near and reconciled to God. Jesus is our peace, who has broken down the dividing wall of hostility between us. He has united us into one new humanity. Finally, in the Gospel from Mark, we see Jesus, the Good Shepherd, having compassion on the weary crowds, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. Though he and the disciples were trying to get away for some rest, Jesus couldn't ignore the needs of the people. He began to teach them many things. My friends, these passages all point us to the same truth that we are sheep in need of a good shepherd. Left to ourselves, we wander and go astray. We are vulnerable to the wolves of sin, death, and the evil one. But God in his great mercy has provided for us the perfect shepherd in his Son, Jesus Christ. Through his life, death, and resurrection, Jesus has secured our salvation and reconciled us to the Father. He has broken down the barriers that divide us and brought us together into one flock. And now, as the Good Shepherd, He leads us, guides us, protects us, and provides for our every need. When the demands of life weigh us down, when we feel scattered and without direction, when we are weary from the battles we face, let us turn our eyes to Jesus, the Good Shepherd. He will make us lie down in green pastures. He will lead us beside still waters. He will restore our souls. So let us follow Him, trusting in His care and leading. For he is the righteousness branch who reigns as our king, the one who lays down his life for the sheep. In him, we find the peace, rest, and security our souls long for. Thanks be to God.